Hi YouTube, Matt Track 25 again. I'm sorry I haven't been on lately. I've just had too many things to do with work. Um, yeah, things first. Um, only interesting thing is that our assembly is going to be in eight to seven weeks time and I've been doing loads of overtime just to get into all get my all assembly money going because my expected target is um round about six to a grand six hundred to a grand um Please comment below if you think I should save up more. Okay, the real reason is that I want to do a Transformers Beast Wars toy review, which I've been meaning to try and do for ages. It's on Beast Wars, second, Magda Boss, Saturn. Uh, it's in the west I don't know what it's in the east I don't know what it's called but I call it Air Raid or Skydive and Lyle Jr. ok let's start off with the easiest I'm just going to call him Skydiver. Well, find out his name later on. Okay, Skydive is the warrior. He likes to fight, but he likes to fight with honor, like Silverbolt. But he doesn't have the stronger cold as Silverbolt does. If it's an enemy, he will scout. His, actually, his personality is cross between. Um, what's she called? Um, Air Razor and Silver Ball. But he's also a brilliant thinker. He's a master swordsman. And he can shoot projectiles from his feathers from a hundred miles away um, is the only main in basically what you would call the second season He's the main, he does come in it a lot as the main aerial patroller. To transform him, it's very simple. All you do is lift down his wings and lift up this gently. You've got to do this gently because I have went and bought six of these just on their own past. But I actually got the box set. The actual official Beast Wars second box set. Push his body over like that and clip in. Push his bird wings up, straighten his legs, push down his arms like that, and then just clip back his wings like that. Also if you want put down his ego eye. Lastly you turn around his legs and straighten his feet up. These light bits are very are swords. Like I said he's a master swords but and when he starts fighting with his swords 
you better stick back, stick away, keep away. For being a Beast Wars figure, he is very, his arm beast, ball joints. The difference is, on this one, is that his head's silver and these eyes are actually painted red, I think. I think the other one was red, but his head's silver and all that. Next one is Saturn. He is the intelligence, but he is the muscle as well. He's the intelligence. He's kind of like Rhinox with Dinobot mixed in. He likes to think and he likes to calculate his every move and he likes to do it with so precise his main his main point is that he's got two missile uh, guns on the back of his ears he can use these and he can produce electronic charge between his tusks that's one thing I did notice in the series but he didn't do ever a hell of a lot except for think and strategize to transform in. But you shouldn't really he has do as the Magna Boss kibble, a lot of it showing, and a lot of his robot kibble under him. To transform him to robot mode, is push down his tail. Open his ass, not split his ass, the elephant's bum, like that. Turn these back legs down, these will become his f f legs for robot mode. Open his, the uh, elephant's, um, I say front part front muscles and just keep it there to keep it more stable it does suffer with the same problem with the western version we had it is floppy in the middle that's why I keep that there you get your fingernail if you can I usually get it in the back of his head open up his elephant head push his tusks forward and because they're connected to his front arms just push them down like that and fold his ears like that then lastly you push his head down and push his tusks forward so he looks like that but unfortunately he suffers with a lot of back heavy kibble this and this is his hand what I do is put Magnum Boss's feet out as heel spurs like that so he can stand a lot better he's got a lot more stable with this one this is the best one that they did a lot of more paint apps to he's got gold paint all over his face is actually painted better detail he's got better eye colour his teeth are a lot whiter but you can see the difference in in, in Magnum Boss form. Like I say, he only uses these like cannons here. This is his main priority weapon. He's a sharp shooter 
but he doesn't really want to be that. He uses calculations, but also I like to add this like a little front part as swords, like Wolverine kind of thing. He doesn't do that, but you can imagine makes it a lot more playable and a lot more fun to play with. Okay. Um, Lyle Jr. This is where the most of the detail and the background goes on. Lyle Jr. was formed from um, Lyle Convoy's um, Matrix when he was dying and when he absorbed so much energy on to heal himself <coughs> there was so much energy left over he made a copy of it <laughs> but a young copy a young in experience And it came out with this. <coughs> Lyle Jr. is the son of Lyle Convoy. He is a very, very spoiled brat. He's everything that you would wear, hate to have a child. But he's there to but he's very, very eager to learn from his dad and become a great maximal leader. <laughs> he forms the main component to Magna Boss. <clears throat> he does get pushed aside a lot because Lyle Convoy has the sense of responsibility as any parent would, especially when my son. My son was in danger. I would jump in there so fast and put myself in danger to put my son out of danger. <coughs> um, yeah, that's basically it. He does have this. He does have his own matrix. That's a great thing <coughs> to transform in. It's very easy. Is all you do is push his back line feet like that, push out, they become heel spurs, turn them around like that. See this bit? Flip put these two little pieces up, disconnect like this line main, turn his waist around. Unclip the sides like this, but push the line legs down. You push the line head down and around like that. You push the arms in like this and push his chest up like that. So it looks like that. Push this back, and these form like wings, and you push his thing down. You turn the line legs, front paws straight, and turn them up like that. He is the most they've actually done to redeck all this. They repainted his head, his mask. He's got a lot more paint apps. These are a lot better. It looks a lot more fun. His weapon <coughs> is an axe, which is formed from his tail. And that's it. it. Looks pretty pathetic, I have to say, still. But he's very good with it, and he's very skilled. So I'll be back with part two after this.